I have a lot of people asking me what I use when I go fluke fishing. So I figured I'd make this late season video. Uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out next season. Um, you know, we're, I'm in New Jersey. Well, I fish in New Jersey, so season's ending on the 5th. Um, so this will be the last weekend out. Today is September 2nd, Saturday. Be going out tomorrow. So I just wanted to go over my most effective baits. And lately I've been using one. And that is the Berkeley Gulp Shrimp. Um, these are my favorite colors for sure. Um, I typically love using the larger 4 inch shrimps only because it attracts the larger fish you know other fish nibble on it but when you when you get a nice strong bite you know it's going to be it's going to be something of size so let's go over some colors here i i love this natural shrimp color um it's white on the bottom it's got some flake in there and it's like a dark green over top um when i do not use this is when the water clarity is dirty um, when the water clarity is dirty, I usually go with a 4-inch white or this 3-inch white here or a white with the chartreuse tail. Those work very well. I don't have any of those to show as a sample. Um, my favorite color of all time is definitely this new penny, 4-inch. Um, they also have it here. They have it in a 3-inch. Um, if you like to use two hooks, put the big boy on the bottom. Hook this one up on a little teaser on the top or a high-low hook. Another really awesome color for, especially for nighttime or dirty water, is this uh, new penny. It's like a fleck glow. If you see the color difference there, all that stuff glows. So this is a great nighttime bait. Um, you know, some people would say that fluke don't bite at night, but that is very untrue. Uh, I've seen some nice five, six, seven pounders pull it out of the jetties and inlets at nighttime. So, um, you know, how I rig these, typically I'm a, I fish on the jetties and the inlets. Tide gets pretty strong. So typically what I like to do is set up like a high-low rig, put, the, put a big four-incher on the bottom, smaller three-inch on the top, with maybe a one, one and a half, two ounce if you have a heavier rod. I fish like tackle, so I do a one ounce. It gets me to the bottom just fine. Um, you know, I'll cast it out. I'll let it hit bottom, and then the tide will do the rest. The tide will move it around for me, and I'll just um, I'll jig back and forth until I'm hooked up. So, you know, if you're an inlet or jetty fisherman, typically the jetties, you can fish at all tides. If you're fishing the inlet under a bridge, the best time I would say is when the tide hits its peak or its low point um, reason being in the bridges or the inlets the the tides crazy so when you hit that peak it's still kind of moving around but it allows you to use light tackle and get down to the bottom in those deep sections of the channels so um, that's that's usually where I find my success, top of the tide, and then for the first hour of it going out, or the first hour of it coming in, same thing on the low tide. Um, fishing under a bridge at the inlet, you really don't have to worry about there not being enough water for the fluke during low tide. Um, I catch them all the time at low tide, so that's, that's really not an issue. Um, I will make another video show you guys how I rig these things but um for now good luck last weekend of fluke fishing and uh tight lines